Hey guys, just a quick reminder to if your batteries have been sitting for a month, it's time to charge them. Hey guys, looks like the motor finally came in day after. Uh, this motor here, you, if you don't mind waiting about uh, maybe a week or two, it's uh, it's 150. If you want it next day, it's 180, which I really didn't want to pay, but uh, this thing has been bugging me for a while. I wanted to pull it apart and modify it and everything else. It's basically used as a wind generator if you want to make your own little wind farm at home. This is basically what it looks like. It's heavy. Well, I wouldn't say super heavy. But one thing I do like about it is it's uh, it's moddable. I think you could drill holes in the bottom, put a plate on it if you wanted. Um, I'm looking at the back, you can put a bearing in here. Put a shaft through it that's hollow and then arc weld it to the back end of the motor. And you could have a dual bearing if you wanted it, or dual shaft. Or you can put a fan here and have a bunch of holes cooling it, shooting air in it. So that's doable too. The bearings in the front feel a little rough. I'm hoping they'll uh, smooth out the more you use it. If not, I could uh, pop the seal out and maybe repack it or something. But uh, it does feel pretty rough. This is the wire that comes with it. What you see there is the gauge. This is just a really thin film of, um, it feels like fiberglass. But uh, it's better than nothing for now. I can always rewire it and open the hole up more. It came with an extra nut and a lock nut. It is not keyed, but uh, if you wanted to key it, it wouldn't take much. Just take a Dremel and just Dremel a key into it. Um, what else? It's two different colors, so I'm guessing these were made at different times, which is kind of weird. The casing is like super, th super thick. Um, I guess before we take it apart, we'll um, see if we can hook it up to a uh, self-learning controller and uh, if we can get this thing to spin over. Sweet. So, let's see what we're going to use today. Um, give me the throttle. Um, these ones here aren't self-learning. Oh, there's my giant one there. This one is. Yeah, that'll do. Um, probably want to put this in the Vice would probably be a good idea. Well, it's just sitting on the table. It's just to keep it from spinning out, spinning out when I uh, give her some juice. Now the reason I use a um, self-learning is because you don't know what uh, configuration these uh, phase wires got to be in. And uh, basically, don't want to be messing with it for hours on end. You put it on self learning, and if it doesn't work, you stop it and change the phase, start it, turn it on. Make sure these don't touch. We'll have to make something for that. Should be alright. Throttle. <clears throat> So hoping everybody is still healthy. I uh, luckily haven't got uh, Omicron yet, but like I said, everybody's going to get it, which totally sucks ass. Then I want it, period. Oh, come spring, I'm going to be buying a new battery, so we'll be uh, doing a few hundred different episodes of that. Yeah, which one's what? I'm pretty sure that's... Which negative and positive here. Give me a minute to get this set up and we'll give it a test. Well, surprisingly it didn't, uh, didn't blow up. <laughs> 
just basically jumpered it out. It spun right away. It was already on the right phase. Got it running at about maybe 69 volts. Well, yeah, give or take. The bearings are a little loud. Um, if they don't, I, I, what I would like to do is hook this up to a power supply that's plugged into the wall, and just let it run for about an hour just to break in the bearings. As we, you'll hear, it's it's pretty loud. It's got the torque, that's for sure. But those bearings sound pretty bad. I'm going to let it run for like 20 minutes just to see if I can uh, make it quieter. If not, we'll pull the um, snap ring off in there and maybe uh, squirt some uh, bearing grease in there. Because most of the times, their cheap bearings don't have any grease at all. It's just basically, um, it's, a, it's some kind of clear grease they put in there. It doesn't do anything. But uh, once I pop it out and put some legitimate beer, uh, bearing grease in there, it uh, gets quiet. I mean, maybe I'm hearing the bearings more than I'm hearing the motor because of the thickness of the casing, which could be the case. But uh, let me run it for a bit, and then we'll um, pull it apart. Well, no real change. Uh, if anything, the this uh, axle here and the bearing actually gets warm. Just to give you an idea how rough that bearing is. We're going to try to attempt and... Um, Pull that cover off the side and repack it, see if it shuts it up a bit. It's not a big deal, but it could run way smoother if that was the case. If I can get this thing to shut up, this ring should pop out. Most of these cheap bearings, anyway, this ring doesn't do anything. goes. Not much to it. And I don't know if this pops out or not. Mm. Before I try and roof that out, roof it, roof it out? Try and rip it out. Let's uh, get a close-up look at it, make sure it's not a cage holding bearings and it's plastic and I pull it out and destroy it. Yeah, so that plastic ring there looks like it's some kind of cage holding the bearings. So I probably wouldn't try and rip that out. What I'm going to try and do is just try and pack it in like that. And uh, it's better than nothing for now. If I have to, I'll take it out and uh, do it properly. But I uh, just want to get some good grease in there. There is grease in there, but like I said, it's not the good stuff. And this stuff's getting in there, so should shut it up quite a bit. There it should be enough quite a bit in there.
Let's hook it back up and see if uh, how it does. Um, a few pictures I've seen online, people taking these things apart. The bearing is actually a lot wider and thicker than most because it has to, like, it's obviously it's not coming out the other end here for support. So the bearing's like this thick versus this thick. So I've seen on some models. So we'll won't know until we uh, pop it open and um, have a better look at it. I just want to see if this is shutting up. Probably not. Uh, all the videos also I've seen everybody's complained about the bearings in these things or replaced them. I guess they don't care if they're uh, up in the air. No one's going to hear it grinding away. Plus it's designed to work at a lower RPM. No idea if this is the right phase. So we'll find out. Do not touch. Thank you. Oh yeah. Nope. That is not the right phase. But we can fix that. By the way, it did sound a little quieter. <laughs> we'll see. Damn. That just sound quieter. So what we'll do is we'll probably, when we pull it apart, well, when I pull it apart, I'll um, repack it from the other side as well. I'll we'll really shut it up. I'm not too sure what type of oil they use to pack them with, but uh, they're, it's not that good. It's much better. Okay, then we go. Well, that's done. Let's uh, pull this sucker apart and uh, see what the insides look like. Let's see what the magnets look like. I also wanted to see what it's going to take to um, put some holes in this. Um, this way I can pretty much use it on any controller with thicker wire, obviously. There we go. I'm just going to pop apart. Or not. Sweet. Oh, my bleeding? Apparently. I'm not too sure what the pinch factor is on this, so we're going to find out. Ugh. Well, not as cheap as I thought it was going to be. Something floating around in there. Tape, or paint. They repainted this. The only thing I don't like is this. Well, I mean, it's not bad, but at high RPMs, these probably would fly apart. So what I'll probably do is wrap some tape around it 
and put some epoxy, soak some epoxy, have it up like that, soak the epoxy into it so it gets into the seams. Uh, some metal epoxy would do a good job like that to keep it from, uh, keep the magnets in place. Because the only thing is keeping these magnets in place is some cheap glue and then they crimped each, uh, each gap here to, uh, s to um, expand the metal. I wonder what it would take to get that out. Feels like a lot. I'll have to tap it with some wood. We'll be doing that today. There's the stator. Like I said, it's it's actually this these windings are about as thick as a 9C winding, so you should be able to put some decent voltage through this thing before it uh goes into saturation. Looks fine to me. To be able to, nope, I can get it out. No, nope. can I? Just pull it out. Nope. Maybe I don't want to. Well, I'm gonna have to. I want to see if it's tied there for Star Delta. Maybe I can pry it around the edges. Get the seal out of here. Just don't want to mess up the laminate. You said prying, you go prying in like that, it bends the laminate. It's moving, I think. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. It's kind of wound like a, um, Alternator. Duh. That's <laughs> pretty much what it is. Oh, that's not good. And I did not do that. Found a broken wire. And I didn't do it. It was whoever put this together pinched it. See? Pinched it right there. So, probably a good thing I took it apart. You probably want to take yours apart if you're using these for a wind gener generator. And I'm actually not the first person that's run into this problem. As you can see, that has been crimped on the edge, right on the edge, between the stator and the, uh, right there. It's basically where they pinched it. Bummer. Not a big deal though. I mean, you just have to strip the enamel off and uh, wind them together. If not, we can just bridge it with a wire. So I'm gonna have to go over and make sure there's no other broken ones, because this is a known issue with these uh, these cheaper ones. And I don't see a, where it's uh, tied together. Maybe there isn't a star delta, star configuration anyway. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it apart. We'll do a part two. Obviously, I'm going to have to fix this bloody thing before I even put it back together. But I know I didn't do that. And since it is late at night, I can't do some banging. We're going to take a mallet and a piece of wood and punch this, pop this out, and uh, take the bearing out and see if we can't pack it from both sides. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Even for 180 bucks, I mean, it's, it's fun to play with. I'm going to build a project out of it, so stay tuned. Later, guys.